Saying goodbye to the cusp. Apparently the whole drive is along the lake, so that'll be nice. Got my car packed up. Such is the touring life. My mom is learning about the touring life. <laughs> Heading out about two hours to Nelson from here and I'm playing the Royal. Should be a blast. The rain got so bad earlier that we really just couldn't see. <laughs> but it's all better. <laughs> Good view of the lake. Everything is fine. <laughs> Stopped briefly for food in this cute little town of New Denver. I hadn't even heard of it, but I already got a lead on possibly playing here in October, so we'll see. We'll see if I play New Denver in the future. It's a cute little historic town that I'd love to do some videos about, but I don't have too much time today because I gotta run over to Nelson. So, I bought some crazy stuff there. I There was so much stuff that I wanted to buy that I then didn't. I said, like, I'll buy one or two things, maybe. I'll spend, like, ten bucks here. I'm a musician. I don't have that kind of money. Then I spent thirty-six bucks because they had a really cool KISS section. You've seen... I've already made a video of my KISS collection. You would think I have all the KISS albums, but I don't. Getting closer, though. This one's technically a compilation. Killers from 1970... Or 1982, rather. This is the German pressing. You can tell by the weird logo. This album was not released in North America. They had a lot of really cool imports. I also have Ace Frehley's solo album now, 78. I also picked up Peter Chris's solo album. This album's not even good, but I just have to have it. And then another side of Bob Dylan. I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have really any 60s Bob Dylan with the exception of the Nashville Skyline album, but I have just changed that. I am very pleased with my purchases. My bank account is less pleased with my purchases. Yay. Mom and I were just talking about how could you imagine driving up to this when it was in flames? It would have looked like a wall of fire. I've seen some of those crazy Facebook videos of the fire in Fort McMurray and some other ones. Actually, I wonder if this is more recent. Remember the province was on fire fairly recently. Um, I wonder, there's some like reforestation going on in there, so maybe it was more than just this past year, but like, that's a pretty intense burned out area. The whole highway would have obviously been closed for that. Wow. I have arrived in beautiful Nelson, BC. Never been here in my life, but it's quite a nice little town actually. Got quite a cool downtown area. And there we are at the Royal. They have not opened their doors yet. So we'll just wander around town, I guess. Cool. It's funny, it's not a very large city, but this main block feels like you're in a heavily populated downtown core. It's quite weird. According to the sign, their Bank of Montreal that's right next to the Royal opened in 1899, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> all in all, a really fun vibe in this little town. Ooh, Kootenay Motors, which appears to have not been a motors a motoring stop in quite a while, but you can see by the post where it would have been a gas station. That's kind of cool. I wonder what it is now. Really enjoying the vibe of this little town. Really excited to hit the stage. Woohoo! All right. Got here early to set up. We are set up. This is one of the cooler stages I've ever played on for my debut here in Nelson. Got my set list ready. Rocking and rolling. Oh, yeah. This will be my view from the mic for tonight, once the action gets going. Awesome little venue. Really excited to play tonight. Classic rock aficionado, sort of, so when I, wrote my, when I write my own original tunes, I try to make them as sound as classic rock as possible. It just tends to be the way they come out, so. I wrote this next one that kind of sound like an old 60s tune, maybe. Maybe something Phil Spector would have written. Something like that. Yeah. So this is a song called 20 Years.
Took off your disguise Without you every day It hurts so much Girl, you know I'm too lonely That I can't last one day Without your touch I'm sorry like we feel Every day with you But I just saw myself in the camera. I look ridiculous, but I've just come off of a three-hour show. That was my favorite show I've ever played in terms of the stage they gave me. I was on a very professional stage, and uh, that was a memorable night because first set, I played three sets tonight. First set, almost nobody was there. At the end of the first set, the only couple, who was very nice and seemed to genuinely appreciate my music, the couple that was there uh, left, and so there was pretty much no one except me and the bartenders, and I was like, is it time to call it quits? I'd only done one set. And pro tip for musicians, never, ever call it a day. I said, I'm, but I went up to the bartender and I said, you know what, I'm gonna play till 12 for you guys if, if you're gonna stay open that long. And they said, we'll give you one more set. Uh, so sorry that this didn't work out, but we have to close up if it stays dead. And I was like, you know what, it makes sense. So I played that second set and over the course of that set, about a dozen people came in started drinking really enjoyed the set i sold five cds tonight i played a third set i kept the place open till midnight they were very happy about that unfortunately the royal whoa sorry about that unfortunately the royal is closing in two weeks for an extended refurbishment and won't be open till about october november but hopefully when it does i'll be back and hopefully um I'll be back in this community soon. I felt like I left a good mark on this area now, but at the same time, as fun as this little Kootenai strip was, I'm excited to come back home tomorrow, be back home for a month, and then back on the road August 15th. Uh, thank you guys, thanks you guys so much for watching. Um, check out the description for a full list of my upcoming tour dates, as well as uh, well, links to where you can find my music where it's sold or streamed online. 
Uh, subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying these videos. Uh, and uh, ring the notification bell as well if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, which will be tomorrow and every day for the foreseeable future. And like this video if you liked what you saw. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to catch you again tomorrow.